welcome back to another episode of the Chicago Blackhawks GM mode franchise here on the channel. In the last episode, we went through, I believe, the home opener, and we simulated it all the way up to November 1st. And we also looked at the, the team leaders and points, the standings, our power play, penalty kill. And now to start off this episode, we're going to go through our lineups to make sure that we're getting the most efficient play possible. Um, in the NHL, we are 11-2, and two, so I don't really feel like making a lot of changes, if not any. But um, if I were to make one change, it would be to send down McKenzie and Twistle. And Twistle. Him being a 74 overall, him only playing 9 minutes a night is probably not good for his growth. So he made the team out of camp. But I'm going to send him down in exchange for Andrew Shaw. Shaw will take his place on the fourth line. And we can decide what we want to do for the penalty kill. He might even slot into the penalty kill, him being a grinder. Yeah, he can slot into the penalty kill as well. Uh, that does make our fourth line a minus one. But I'm sure if I swap out Peary for Zach Smith, it would even it out. It was actually a plus one with that. So we have a gritty fourth line. And Shaw is there in the power, uh, the penalty kill, excuse me. And that works out just fine. <clears throat> excuse me. And now we can take a look at our AHL squad, who's only won 5-2 and two in our first eight games. So that's not good enough. We need to make some changes here. Um, minus 4, Victor Edgesell. Uh, Pia Sutter, he can probably sit out, and we can put in McKenzie and Twistle there. So you'll be there on the first line. Uh, Cole Moberg. He can slot out for Gabriel Gagne, Reese Johnson. Let's go Gabriel Gagne. He can slide in there. Everywhere else, I kind of want to play them. Lucas Carlson. Have him sit out for Alec Regula. And then goalies, I'm fine with what we got here. Uh, anyone else? We do have Drew Comesso, but I'm not going to put him into a backup or starting role just yet. He's still an other goalie in the minors, so no need to rush into anything. But um, power play, I need to make sure that Entwistle is playing. Put him on that side. And then I need to put Quenville in there, or even Fortin, or Kurashev. He's already playing there. So we already have Khrushchev and Barrett. We can put Fortin. That should work out. I want to make sure that uh, Entwistle is playing a lot. So 70 to 66. 75 to 70. Uh, I'm fine with that. Uh, three on three. Entwistle I want playing. Instead of Soderlund, I want McKenzie and Twistle. And then shootout and Twistle shooting first. And that works out fine. But uh, extra attacker, edge cell. No, I'll have in Twistle. And then Soderlund. That works out fine. I'll have to switch the two. No, I won't. <laughs> um, that's all the changes I'm going to make there. We send down McKenzie and Twistle. And we bring up Andrew Shaw to take his place on the fourth line. And I don't really care about Andrew Shaw's development because he's already grown. He's already at 30 years old, I want to say. Maybe 29 or 28. But um, he's already reached his potential in ceiling. So we don't have to worry about him. Um, let's simulate up to December 1st. I don't plan on hopping into any games here. But um, we can see what happens. Alec Wagula is injured again. That seems to be a common theme. With him so far this season. But I'm going to go ahead and slot in Jacob Galvis. For the time being. We are still continuing our hot streak. 13-2 and two on the season. We, we finally lose there in the shootouts. Alec Regula. 
I gotta slot it back in. If he gets hurt one more time, I'm gonna have him out for just to be that that seventh kind of guy, because we we can't afford to have him injured every other game. Connor Murphy's injured. November seventeenth. That's about a week. I don't think we need to bring up anyone, but um, I'll go ahead and slot in Anton Lindholm. Brings it up to a plus one. And I'm going to go ahead and call up Lucas Carlson. So with that, I believe I have some work to do on the spreadsheet. I'll take you over to the spreadsheet now. And let's see what we have to do here. So let's open that up. We need to go to roster transactions, type of transaction. We have called up called up Lucas Carlson and what is the date on that November 10th so that's going to be 11 10 2020 20. he is a 73 overall all right let me stop the simulation here for just a second and i believe Hmm. No, that should be it. So let's head back to the game. There you go. Connor Murphy has returned to the lineup. So let's head back to the spreadsheet. And we need to send him down now. So go back up to the spreadsheet. Sent down. Oh, don't want to put equals. I want to put the hyphen sent down Lucas Carlson and this is going to be on the 13th so 11 13 2020 you know you just can't risk these things especially with the amount of bugs that are in this game so I'm going to go ahead and send down Lucas Carlson he's he's waiver eligible but if we lose him we lose him not not that big of a deal uh Lindholm I am actually going to slot him in over Brent Seabrook for the time being, depending on how he's playing. He's a minus two, four points in 18 games. I'll actually, I'll actually keep it the way it is. So let's head back to the game. And there you go. And he's fully healed, but we, we already have him in. So 15, four and one, six and four and one. This is um, a playoff record right here. Oh, God. Adam Bokfus has been injured with a broken leg. His estimated return is February 14th. So this is where we do have to call up someone for the time being. And it, it is going to be Lucas Carlson again. Adam Bokfus breaks his leg. Or should it be Nicholas Bodine? Another... Offensive defenseman goes down, we bring up one. Uh, let's bring up Nicholas Bodine. Let's go ahead and slot him up. So we have to edit some lines here. He is going to slot in on the first line with Duncan Keith. So offensive defenseman for offensive defenseman. They're down in the AHL. We have to slot in. I guess we can slot in Lucas Carlson for the time being. And everything will work out fine. But um, we have to head back to the spreadsheet. And called up Lucas Carlson. What is the date? Um, November, 8, November 21st. So 11, 20, 2020. Malcolm Subban has been injured with a bruised hip. <laughs> so we need to call up a goalie now. So called up. Who are we going to call up? Um, I believe we are going to call up Lankinen. Who had the better preseason? I believe it was Tompkins, if I'm not mistaken. So 
Oh, I'll uh, so you guys can see as well. Who had the better preseason? Was it Tompkins? Yeah, it was Tompkins for sure. Yeah, he only played in one game. Uh, we're going to call up Matt Tompkins. And let's go ahead and slot him in. Dalia is going to be the starter for the time being. And then Tompkins is slot in as the backup. And then in the minors, Lankinen and Camesso. There you go. So let's head back to the spreadsheet and let's put in Matt Tompkins. Matt Tompkins. He is a 70 overall. Malcolm Subban has returned to the lineup. <laughs> Sent down. Matt Tompkins, 11. Uh, what is the date? That's 28. 28th, 2020. 70 overall. Okay. Let's head back to the game. And let's send down Tompkins, who is waiver eligible. I don't know if I like that. But, um, you know, it's fine. Waiver eligible. No one claims him. That works out fine. Go ahead and put in Malcolm Subban. Let's go ahead and put in Tompkins. Swap these guys if he's not ready. He's still not fully healed yet. All right, and we're at December 1st with a record of 17, 7, and 2. I forgot to put in Nicholas Bodine, so let's go ahead and do that. When was that injury now? Uh, is it going to say here, player injuries? Subban. Uh, there you go. Adam Bokovic at 1122. So let's head back to the spreadsheet. And we have called up Nick Olis Bodine on a 11-22-2020. He is a 75 overall. Let's head back to the roster here and slot him out. Nick Nicholas Bodine, 75 overall. And I believe that should be fine. But we need to go to a team statement and release a statement about Adam Bokefist, which I should have done the day it happened. But what are you going to do? So let's go back down to here. Today, the Blackhawks announce that defenseman Adam Boakfist suffered a broken leg in tonight's game and will be placed on long term IR in the meantime we have recalled Defenseman Nicholas Bodine to take Adams spot on the roster. And this happened eleven, twenty two, twenty twenty. There you go. Um tonight's yeah, that works out fine. So there we go. We released a statement. And we can head back to the game now. And finish up some more simulation. So 17, 7, and 2. Patrick Kane is still going on his on a tear. We sit third in our division now. Pretty tough division. But I believe our scouts are done. And let's go ahead and re-sign them. 
or reassign them, I should say. Starting off with the WHL. Carson Kuhlman, he's already scouted. These guys are all already scouted. Trevor Wong, get started with him. Mm. I want to go to February 1st. So let's get all these guys scouted. There you go. I want to go to February 1st with these guys. It's a little bit longer, but that's okay. So Sillinger, he's not completely done yet. Rowland, Roulette, is he done yet? Nope. Tashurgal, Sword, Jay O'Brien, Grubay, and Ioro. There you go. I'm going down the list. Any goaltenders? Costa, Gautier, Kubiak, Reinhardt, Vandalist. Um... Anyone else? Grube, there you go. That's fine. OHL. Let's see who's done here. Pinelli, Othman, Lockhart, Chaika, Stillman, and Avon. Second OHL scout. Need to go with Harrison, Hayes, Enright, Tucker Tynan, Lennox, Gretz, and I'm missing anyone. Let's go Hadfield. Why not? And then third, OHL Scout. I believe I got done to Lennox. Um, Butler, McKay. McDonald, Sonny, Hardy, uh, Wong, Akuri. No, just these guys right here. QMJHL. Because they're not completely scouted yet. Is why not? Nope. There you go. Seven. This is the boring part of the episodes, but it has to be done, right? We have to scout these guys in order to, you know, rebuild properly. So we know what we are potentially bringing into our organization. Uh, goalies, Gooby, Beliveau, Desrochier, Plandowski, Tristan Roy. Is that his name? Tristan Roy, uh, Nadeau. Pierre Olivier Waugh. There you go. USA West. These guys may already be scouted, but what are you going to do? Get them all the way to February 1st. USA Central. Ritker, Pasajov, Hughes, Ben Years. Go all the way down. They're at Caden Brown. So I gotta still gotta do Gallagher, St. Louis, Boucher, Gil Martin, Pert, Middlestat, and Chaz Lucius. USA East. Bermanis. Just gonna go all the way down. There you go. Bedell. Grice, Terry, Resnecker. There you go. SHL. Just make sure we're done with all these guys. So we got all the way down to Sundin. Silvergard, Eklund, Kvist, Olafsson, Ramberg, Van Ryan, Tuominen, Liga, Carlson, Raddy, Bergenheim, Bogosian, Downey, Tosca, Salo. Second Liga. So Pauline, Tuco, Magnuson. All these guys are going to start going back up. There you go. 
Russia, Miranov, Safranov, Radulov. There you go. We got eight. And final scout. We got up to Frolov and Sharov. Arkipov. All right. So there you go. Should take us all the way up to February 1st with all these guys. And now, I believe that's where I'm going to wrap it up here. We only did get one month of simulation done, but uh, it was quite an eventful month. Uh, Adam Bokris went down with injury. We re-signed our scouts. We won some games. We lost more than we won, but that's okay. But um, we're already approaching the 20-minute mark, so I want to wrap it up. I want to thank you guys for taking the time to watch. In the next episode, we'll do some more simulation, some more scouting. And we'll see where we are at the end of that episode. But um, thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next one.